Hey all, Fitzman here, and welcome back to Fallout Equestria Remains. Uh, we are going to continue where we left off, but first I want to just grab a few buffs. Because we can. Actually, we are low on magic, so... There we go. Should be good now. We got griffins. Should I switch the combat armor? I might, yeah. Okay, that's the elite one now, that's the important one. Uh oh. Look at how good that spell is! That is unbelievably good. Uh, no, no armor. It's not bad. Moon armor is okay. No armor, bad. Someone on the other side of this. Oh. Ooh, that was actually a bit scary. But it turned out to be quite alright actually. I do believe at this point we are at a pretty good place in the game in regards to our power level. We got good armor, we got good weapons, good skills, good spells, very good spells. And we can deal with most of the enemies we encounter in a fairly swift and reasonable manner. There might be a few exceptions, but uh, probably always will be. But doing this level here now, compared to uh, doing some of the levels in the abandoned stable. I mean, the abandoned stable just seems so much harder compared to the tools you have to deal with the enemies that get the I mean, you do have lightning bolts and such, but... Still. At this point... We have a lot of fun tricks to bring with us. Also, if I accidentally call the death ray spell um, disintegrate, just bear with me. It's something I apparently keep doing. We do still take quite a lot of damage from some of these, but I feel like we can kill them just about as fast as they can kill us. So. Even faster in most cases, actually. Well, I'd say we are still doing pretty good. Doesn't mean the enemies are less scary, just means that. Well, I guess it does mean they are a little less scary, but they are still dangerous and they still pose a threat. At least most of them. When you can dispose of them this quickly, well...
It's just a different encounter altogether. Uh oh. Now we also have the turrets and such, we can just peel off the walls. I don't know, some of the encounters in Manhattan just seems a lot easier than the abandoned stables. I mean, even if we went back to the abandoned stables now. Because the turrets, they are not hidden in the ceiling like they are in the stable, so you can just pull them out with telekinesis if you have that. Or... Some rooms are also filled with very low tier enemies like Parasprites and those floating robot bus blades or other likes of that. And usually in the stables I thought that we had very few rooms that was just a breeze. And in Manhattan, like the room to our right, I mean there wasn't really anything, it was just a room with no enemies. And I didn't think we had that as much in the abandoned stable. Oh. See, that actually was a bit scary because we lost a lot of hit points. So obviously we still need to be a little careful. Sometimes. And we remember to check the doors. Now you can hear the bus plates. Uh, yeah, you can also see them there. They're called Vortex. And they are just not a threat. Not at all. So when you encounter rooms with bus plates and parasprites, well... I forgot to check that crate entirely. Alright, fair enough. Then you're not really scared if you just encounter one of those rooms. I mean, even if you two da do take damage, at this point it's... nothing that serious. Alright, how's our... I uh, don't want to load. How's our map looking? We need to go what up? Hey, let's just regen some magic. I'll have a sip of tea. There we go, and we are ready to move on. Actually, I want a bit more magic to use. Oh. Like this room for example, like we just talked about, the enemies in here are very low tier. We got bats, we got mole rats, we got, is that a normal rat even? And just the bus blades, the vortexes. The most threatening thing was probably this, which <laughs> almost killed us. Granted, but um, yeah. Aside from that, not much to be worried about. And we can even get our little owl back. There we go. We can repair our gear a little bit. Alright, I think that was it. So, what can I run? Did I take damage to my legs? Yes, a little bit. Come on, there we go, now I can run again. Okay.
When I see alicorns, I kind of want to just charge at them to hopefully deal with them before uh, I have a chance to put up their shield. But this one up here, we couldn't do that. Oh, hey! Oh no, it cast confuse on me. Uh, it's this ability up here. It switches my controls around, so when I try to go right, I go left. And it is very confusing and very disorienting. We did hack the terminal, I believe, so... I believe there's a turret over here we don't have to worry about now. Good because that would have been positioned very annoyingly. Oh. oh no. Oh, and it summons other coins. Oh, nice. Or I just hide here. Come on, you can face through walls. It's only a little turret here. You know you want to. Oh, of course, you just. Come on! That was so useless. Useless. There we go. I can't even say anyone. And it managed to actually get the killing blow, so I didn't get any XP. I hate you, turret. You're the worst. Shouldn't I have gotten XP from that? Did I get XP, or didn't I just notice it? I was sure it didn't say anything about its uh, name when it died, though. Mm. Uh, speed! Oh, the speed trial again. Right, I just want my owl back. There we go, because it was just on the other side of that, so why not? Alright, um... I can't remember if I need to combine it with an ultra dash. Or if the speed alone, or the flight potion alone is simply enough. I do have two ultra dashes, so we can try both. Effect you can fly, but you can speed for two minutes, alright? Can I not. Um... Oh no, this is way too slow. Can I combine it with an ultra dash? Am I remembering this wrong? Like, like completely. completely. Oh, I got to the board. I could have sworn I was supposed to fly with the water. So 
if I only press once briefly, then I don't fly. Which is what I don't want to do right at the very beginning. There we go. Jump, fly. Oh no. Um Do I just fly up there then? And run. Oh I made it! Ah, oh, goodness. Smuggle cigars. That's at least a quest item. Alright, now I never have to do that again. At least in this uh, playthrough. So I will save the game here. Alright. Move on. And I need some more magic. Do, 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 do. There we go. I didn't even see that. I guess that's why we bring the owl. I do hear that. Nova Search Rifle. That sounds like an energy weapon. Which means we are probably not going to use it. Uh oh. That was pretty cool. Uh -oh. uh, for the reason I was clicking all the wrong buttons. Uh oh. I want to fire off my death ray, but I think I hit the wrong button for it. So that didn't really do me much good. Uh, it's only locked. I was just seeing if it was mined before I tried to disarm it and standing so very, very close. Not a good combination. <laughs> Hello and goodbye. Oh, there we go. Should be that room. Oh, telephone. Oh, did you see that? That's some crazy reflexes. Bit of an epic teleport away from the uh, disintegrate or death ray, sorry. Why is this so hard to open? You can't. Be serious. I want to know what is down there that is so hard to open. How many pins do I have left? Oh, it's jammed now. I want to know. There was just. There was pretty much nothing. Why was that so hard? 
Doesn't make sense. Set this entire floor, right? We are going up. There's a lot of batting. That was the one I had to sound. Oh no! I just completely missed that one. That's the real enemy. This game. Mines and traps. Kidding me. Did you just fall all the way down there? Well, then never mind. Unless I can, I can't even reach it with the. I need to go this way anyway, so. Yeah. Alright. Have it your way. See that turret. Oh, hello. And I ran out of mana. Thankfully. I can just pull that turret off with telekinesis, can't I? Shouldn't be a big problem. Oh, that's not the alley I used to be a lot more scared of these. <laughs> I like the fact that I made them fight and I got the XP for it. That was brilliant. Just a few crates, and that should be it. Oh, hey. Can I reach that? I can't. So I'll just jump over here and now I can reach it. Goodbye. That is such a useful uh, perk. Where you don't need to have line of sight on your telekinesis. Such a big fan of that. Alright, that's uh, this room. We have Two more on the left to go. Uh, 
And we have some normal raiders, it seems, so we'll switch to the combat armor, there we go. Because the griffins can pack both energy weapons and ballistic weapons, but I think raiders mostly pack ballistic weapons. Could be wrong, but that's my gut feeling. Whereas the Griffins feels it's a bit half and half. Never mind. The correct way to disable an alarm is not to set it off. Raiders again. Guess we're going combat armor. As you saw in the last room, some of the raiders they do have energy weapons, but as I said, I think they have a preference for ballistic weapons. It's not entirely yet. Let's see we have some up there. Oh dear, hello. Oh well, that was actually kind of scary. Right, now it's a lot less scary. way to get in there to see enemies. Okay, we probably can do this. Well, the way enemies are just not very scary. Is that the room? Is that the level? We need one more up top. Right, let's uh just get that started. Uh I see Alicorn, so we switch to the moon on. Alright. We need to get some more magic. There we go. And there's a level exit. We're not taking that yet because we want to explore Ow. all of it. Even the explosive parts. We may even be able to craft some of the uh, elemental potions again. Ow, come on! Enough with the mines already.
Alright, we have more alicorns. This is unbreakable. Stop throwing the loot around. Just, Just come out, out here. here. Okay, and that was extremely horrible. I need the crew to destroy it. There's more of the crew downstairs. Probably going to come up and visit us shortly. So is this one? Are they timed? Yes, yes they are. are. Okay. So we have four buttons, they are timed, I guess. Can I teleport? Okay, so I can teleport. Um But they have a very short timer. I'm gonna need some explosives, aren't I? How's this gonna work? Okay, I cannot use C4. And that would be my go-to solution, because then I could place a C4 at each of them and just blow it up. Simultaneously. Uh, let's see, are there any hints? Show hint. Use the X37 radio mines. But I cannot use these because uh, my skill level is too low. So, yeah, I was on the right idea because you can place these down and then you can make them explode at the same time and then it activates all the uh, radio buttons. We cannot complete this trial though because we do need to be able to use those explosives. Which we cannot do. And I'll be honest, explosives is quite far down my list of skills I want to rank up in. Uh, but we'll see. We are however 34 minutes in. Uh, I know there's only a few rooms to go, but I do want to continue in the next episode because we are actually going straight into another zone before we wrap up Manhattan completely. So follow along in the next episode and we will see what awaits. Fitzbinet.